now we can discuss the second important thing in antimicrobials that is antimicrobial resistance development of resistance to antimicrobials so now there can be two type of resistance like we have natural resistance we have acquired resistance so natural resistance means right from the beginning the organism is resistant to the drug so naturally it is resistant you can safely assume like mycoplasma mycoplasma is inherently resistant to any cell wall sense inhibitor because mycoplasma do not have cell wall so even if a drug inhibits cell wall senses mycoplasma is not going to be affected similarly we have candida cruzii candida cruzii it is inherently resistant to fluconazole so natural resistance if it is present it does not worry us because right from the beginning we know that the drug will not work but this is the problem acquired resistance initially the organism was sensitive like staphylococcus aureus initially it can be killed by penicillin g but then it became resistant so that is acquired resistance and that is the clinical problem acquired resistance now the question is how the acquired resistance works that means how the bacteria can become resistant so there are various methods of acquiring the drug resistance so what are the various biochemical methods by which bacteria can become resistant the first and the most important is by developing the inactivating enzymes so bacteria develop some security guards that will kill the antibiotic so when the antimicrobial is killed the bacteria survives and which antibiotics they develop resistance because of these enzymes and you can remember them as abc abc a for amino glycosides b for beta lactams and c for chloramphenicol so in these antibiotics the major mode of resistance is the bacteria will break the chemical structure of the antibiotic so amino glycosides beta lactams and chloramphenicol now the second thing is the bacteria may alter the target now wherever the drug is working if the bacteria change that target the drug will not be able to work like in case of mrsa and vrsa in these cases the bacteria changes the target like in case of mrsa there is altered penicillin binding protein so when the protein is changed no beta lactam can bind so mrsa and vrsa the target is changed similarly in case of fluoroquinolones the bacteria changes its dna gyrase so the antibiotic will not be able to inhibit the dna gyrase so that is altered target then third important mechanism may be altered metabolism altered metabolism so as the name says the bacteria will change the metabolism like this is the method to develop resistance against sulfonamides we will discuss when we will discuss in sulfonamides in detail that sulfonamides they inhibit the formation of folic acid by bacteria and normally bacteria is not able to grow because bacteria cannot utilize the pre formed folic acid bacteria cannot use the dietary folic acid its folic acid cannot be synthesized because we given sulfonamide and dietary folic acid it cannot use so that's why bacteria cannot grow but if the bacteria start utilizing the dietary folic acid then in spite of giving sulfonamide bacteria can survive so that is the resistance bacteria change the metabolism it start using the dietary folic acid then we may have another method decreased permeability decreased permeability so normally any antibiotic works by entering in the bacteria and if there is a decrease in permeability the antibiotic cannot enter in the bacteria the drug may develop resistance and this type of resistance mainly occur to amino glycosides amino glycosides and lastly the bacteria may develop resistance by developing the efflux pumps so bacteria may develop the pumps that will throw the drug out and this mainly develop to tetracyclines tetracyclines and we have developed a drug to take care of this pump which was tigacycline but even against tigacycline some bacteria have developed efflux pumps so these are the methods by which the bacteria may develop the resistance 
Now the question is, one bacteria has dwelt the resistance. It is okay. But how it will transfer the resistance to other bacteria? So this is the resistance, okay. But how other bacteria have become resistant? So transfer of drug resistance is the big problem. Transfer of drug resistance. So transfer of drug resistance may be of two types. One is vertical. Second is horizontal. Vertical means from the mother father to the baby. That means to the next progeny. We know one bacteria when it divides into two, both can develop resistance. Yeah? So from above to the lower generation, it is vertical resistance. And the most common method of developing, the, transferring the resistance into the next progeny is via mutation. So this is very simple. So bacterial gene undergo mutation. And when it is transferring to the next generation, that mutated gene will be transferred. But horizontal, horizontal means to give the sideways to the brother sisters. This bacteria is resistant. It is giving resistance to this, 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 this. That is horizontal, not vertical, not the progeny. It is to the sideways. Other bacteria simultaneously surviving with them. Clear? So simply you can say to the brother sisters, the transfer of resistance is horizontal. And that horizontal method of transfer of drug resistance are of three types. These are conjugation, conjugation, transduction and transformation. Conjugation, transduction and transformation. So we can understand in simple manner, suppose this is one bacteria which is resistant. So this bacteria has a resistance gene. So this gene which I made is a resistance gene. Now this bacteria is another bacteria. This is not resistant. So it does not have a resistance gene. So how this second bacteria will become a resistant? The first method is these two bacteria physically unite. So these bacteria, they form a connection between the two. This connection is known as sex pili. So they are physically in contact with each other by making a sex pili. Now, first, what happens? The first bacteria which is resistant, first of all, it will duplicate its resistance gene. The gene which is already resistant, it will multiply them, make many such genes. Now, it will make a connection with the other bacteria and through that connection, the resistance gene is transferred. So the second bacteria have got the resistance gene. So it also become a resistant. So this method is known as conjugation. So conjugation means actual physical contact. They make a sex pili. They make a connection between the two. So the gene can be transferred through that. Okay. Now there is second circumstance. This is the bacteria which is resistant, which has multiplied its resistance gene. This is the second bacteria which is not resistant. So what happens? This bacteria which is resistant, it is infected by a virus. A virus comes inside this bacteria. Virus comes inside this bacteria. Now this virus, the virus infecting the bacteria is called as bacteriophage. So that bacteriophage has entered inside and now this eats the resistance gene. That means bacteriophage has taken the resistance gene. So bacteriophage comes out with the resistant gene with the resistant gene. So now this infect this bacteria, second bacteria, and it will send the resistance gene inside. So second become resistant. So this is known as transduction. Transduction means with the help of a virus. So bacteriophage. Okay. Now the third is transformation. What is transformation? This is the bacteria. This has the resistance gene which has multiplied. Once this was roaming around here and there, here and there, it was roaming around and by mistake, its genes fall down in the environment. Now, this is the second bacteria which does not have a resistance gene. It is also roaming. It finds that, oh, the genes are present. So, it picks up these genes. So, this picks up these genes and that lead to drug resistance. So, when the resistance occurs due to free environmental DNA, it is called as transformation.
ओके सो थ्री मेथड ऑफ ट्रांसफर ऑफ ड्रग रेजिस्टेंस कॉन्जुगेशन मीन्स एक्चुअल फिजिकल कॉन्टैक्ट ट्रांसडक्शन मीन्स विद दी हेल्प ऑफ बैक्टीरिया फाच एंड ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन मीन्स थ्रू दी फ्री एनवायरमेंटल डी एन ए नाउ इंपॉर्टेंट टू रिमेंबर कॉन्जुगेशन इज द मोस्ट कॉमन मेथड ऑफ ट्रांसफर ऑफ ड्रग रेजिस्टेंस on the other hand transformation will be least common because the free environmental dna will not be easily available so it is least common method of transfer of drug resistance okay? so that is important about antimicrobial drug resistance very important okay?